Texas Governor Greg Abbott was caught in the act of trying to suppress voting in Texas. Uh, so now how he's doing so is by ordering counties to stop accepting absentee ballots. Uh, so now these ballots, of course, are hand-delivered to certain uh, drop boxes. Uh, and what he did is that he basically cut the number of these drop boxes, making it harder for residents to basically drop off their ballot in person. Uh, so now, look, uh, the, the state has a bunch of these, uh, had a bunch of these drop boxes, had about 11 of them uh, set up so that people wouldn't have to wait in line uh, to cast their vote. Uh, and if you didn't trust the post office, you could go and get your vote uh, dropped off to make sure that your vote gets counted. That makes sense, right? Uh, but not anymore because of this prop, uh, proclamation from Governor Abbott. Now, it goes into effect today, and it modifies parts of uh, Abbott's July 27th order that added six, day, six days of early absentee voting in the states uh, as a response to coronavirus uh, pandemic. Um, now, this is, again, after concerns were raised about the reliability of the U.S. Postal Service, voters have indicated a desire to use these drop-off sites to ensure their votes are counted while avoiding possible crowds on Election Day, which is super smart. Abbott said he issued this new order to ensure the security of the ballots. So he's basically saying, I like voter fraud, but I want to make sure that we don't run into voter fraud. So we're actually going to get rid of more absentee ballot drop-off places. That doesn't make any sense. That, how would that get rid of fraud? It, it doesn't. It's, it's clear, clear voter suppression. All right. Again, this is going to make it very, very difficult for people to vote. Uh, and the reason, again, these drop-off sites are super important is because, well, you've got the post office that has been taken over by, uh, by postmaster Louis DeJoy. Louis DeJoy has been breaking the post office, making sure that mail sorting machines uh, are, you know, taken out, taken down. They're not working. They're not functioning anymore. Uh, and so you've got these, you know, post offices that are not functioning at 100% capacity. One of the other things that he's done that's controversial uh, is that DeJoy has made sure that people uh, working at the post offices cannot use overtime. So now you might think, well, okay, but that's a cost-saving measure, right? Because, I mean, you know, you, you would have to pay more for overtime. Unfortunately, there's so much mail and there's so few people that you cannot possibly get that mail out without using this over time. And so now, as a result, you have an ever-growing pile of mail that is unsorted and undelivered. And then, well, you combine that with the flood that is expected of ballots to come through the mail. I think a lot of people see what's going on at the post office and think, well, it might actually be easier for me to just drop it off. You know, I, I can take it to one of these drop-off boxes we can drive it over, and I can drop it off so that I know that my ballot is going to get counted. And I don't have to worry about it getting late, uh, you know, getting delayed in the mail. And so that makes a lot of sense. They just want to make their vote count. Uh, but unfortunately, what Abbott is doing is going to make it a lot more difficult. Um, and it's because of the size of Texas is one, uh, one piece of uh, difficulty. By removing these locations... Basically, you're going to see a lot less ballots get counted. Texas has 254 counties, the largest of which was rural Brewster, which covers a total of 6,193 square miles. That is bigger than Rhode Island and Connecticut combined. That's one county. That's one county. And so if you only have one drop-off site, that's going to take hours for you to get there. I mean, that's crazy. Crazy. Harris County also includes much of the city of Houston, has a population of more than 4.7 million people, according to the census, and is home to 25% of the state's black residents and 18% of the Hispanic population. Before Abbott's proclamation, that county had 11 drop-off locations. Now, they have far less. 
far less. In addition to this, Abbott has also called for poll watchers at these sites, which, of course, echoes the president, who had also called for his supporters to go and quote-unquote watch the polls to discourage voter fraud. But we all know that it's really more of an effort at intimidation, voter intimidation. Uh, and so now Democrats criticize the move. Uh, State Democratic uh, ch- uh, Party Chair Gilberto Hinojosa said this in a statement, Governor Abbott and Texas Republicans are scared. We're creating a movement that will beat them at the ballot box on November 3rd, and there's nothing these cheaters can do about it. Well, they can suppress the vote, which is exactly what they're doing. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner also uh, criticized this, saying, Growing up, I was bused over 20 miles as a student in the first integrated class at Klein High School. Because of the governor's decision today, I would now have to go even further to drop off an absentee ballot and make my sure my vote is counted. Well, understand that that's the plan. To make voting so bad, so onerous, that people decide it's either not worth to do it or to jam up the system so much that your votes are late or don't get counted. We know what's going on here. We're not stupid. We know Republicans are relying on voter suppression to try to win because, well, they're no longer in the majority. When more people vote, they tend to lose. Donald Trump himself admitted it. He said uh, during an interview, they had things, levels of voting, that if you ever agreed to it, you never have a Republican elected in this country again. He's honest about it. Donald Trump's not the only one, too. Republicans over and over admitted that they want less people voting and not because of, quote unquote, ballot security, right? This is a cover story. Uh, no, it's because when more people vote, they tend to lose. It's clear. That said, it's very possible they'll get away with it, uh, especially if Amy Coney Barrett gets on the Supreme Court and allows Donald Trump to challenge the election. But then again, you now have the president that's confined with uh, COVID-19. We don't know what's going to happen in that situation. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, but regardless, Republicans, and you've got to be aware of this, they're continuing to do their dirty tricks. And uh, so, I mean, the best you can do is still try to vote early. Get that absentee ballot if you can. Uh, the earlier you vote, the, the more chance it ha- you, know, you have of actually having it get there and count. And so if your state has early voting and absentee ballots available, try to order them. Uh, and get them, you know, as soon as possible, get it filled out and either drop it off, find your nearest drop off location or maybe uh, carpool safely with others, you know, um, the, as best you can and uh, do what you can to make sure that your vote gets counted because they are trying to take it from you. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron, it's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.